Hi, and welcome to my first short video in a series on how to use Excel. Look in the video description so that you can download the same data set that we're going to be working with in each of these videos. It's called 93 Cars, and you can download it by clicking on the link. This data set's almost 30 years old, but it's still fun to play with. It's got data on a lot of different cars, and it's got things about the price and the horsepower and how big the engine is and the fuel mileage and all kinds of cool stuff. We don't care too much about the data in this video. It's just there to help us learn how to use Excel. So download the data, open up Excel, and let's get going. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the basics of how to work with different ranges of data in Excel and some of the basic formulas. Once you get the basic idea, you can use any of the basic formulas in Excel. Whenever we talk about data ranges or cells, we're talking about the intersection of a column. The columns have letters and a row. The rows have numbers. For example, this first cell in the top left-hand corner is called A1. If we go over to C and down to seven, this would be the cell C7. This is very important when you're working with Excel because you wanna be able to tell it where the data is that you want to use. So for example, if I wanted to reference this number here, the price, the, this is the cheapest price of an Acura Integra, then this is $12,900. So if I wanted to reference that in Excel, I could go equals, and that is in column J and row two. So we'd say equals J two, and we hit enter, and that gives us the same number. Now, while that's not very useful, a more common thing that we might wanna do is add some numbers together or average numbers together or use some kind of formula on some numbers. So for example, we could say equals, and maybe we wanna add these three numbers together here. One way to do that would be to say equals J2 plus J3 plus J4. So J2 plus J3 plus J4 and hit enter. Another really common thing we might want to do is say like an average or get a total. If we wanted the total numbers, we could say equals sum, open parentheses, and then we can either type in the range or we can just left click with our mouse on the first number and we can drag down to select the numbers that we want to add up or sum. Now what you see happening over here in the range J2 to J16 to, to J24, etc. And you see that colon in between. So this is our next lesson. If you want to reference more than one cell, you can just do J2 colon J26. It doesn't all have to be in the same column. We could do, say, J2 to M2 or J2 to M9, and that would give the highlighted area in blue here. You can either do this with the mouse and it'll type it in automatically, or you can type it and it will show you automatically. Let me show you how that works. So equals sum, open parentheses, J2 to M5, for example. And it helpfully highlights and shows you which data that you're talking about there. So close parentheses and hit enter. Now, some of the functions you want to get to know, common ones that you use quite often, like sum or average. But if you can't remember the name of a particular function, you can always do it another way. You can go to the formulas tab here and you can do recently used formulas. Click with the left mouse button and it'll say sum, average, count, max, min. It, Click financial formulas, logical formulas, etc. Date and time formulas, mathematical and trigonometric functions. So this is a way where you can just click. So suppose we want, and go to more functions, suppose we want the average, we can click statistical, average, and it brings up a little window to help us enter in this function. So it wants to average A1 to A3. It's trying to guess just because those are the closest numbers, but we can always click in this box and drag with our left mouse button and then tell it, no, I don't want to average A1 to A3. And then I can left click, drag, and it will fill in what we want. Now, while it was filling in that formula, 
we can only see the last E. So I'll expand that so we can see what it's doing a little better. So that's the basic idea behind cells, ranges, and formulas in Excel. I hope you join me for the next short video where we'll talk about named ranges. I'll see you soon.